I'm gonna teach you wall climbing, so wall running and hug pitch slash pinch climbing. So, part one, you wanna know how to pinch climb or hug climb, one of them. For hug climbing, it's a basic skill. Just come, you wanna hug it and just push down. What I found out, if you look up into it, it does make you get a lot more speed and height. So, my arm is sore right now, but you can see. And if you if you're falling off like that, you pull in so it's like that's boom. But if you just push up, you shouldn't you sh that shouldn't happen to you. And then after you push up, just put your arms around again. Then you want to come over. You can either go over here on this part of the stump, which is where most people learn it, or over at that corner. Where my finger's pointing. I like I like teaching people right here though. So instead of hugging it, you want to scoop your hands and then push in. Cause if you don't, cause with this, you're gonna go out quite a bit. So you want to push pull in when you're doing it. And it should make it a lot easier. So you, but you don't want to keep your hands closed. You want to have your hands the farther out. So it's kind of in the middle. Like just spread your hands. You don't have- I like doing this motion. That's the motion I do. And people say like doing- like, All I do is I come right here and I do that circular motion at my hands at a slight angle just to stay with the wall. You can keep going up. Up to up to here. You don't have to go really fast, you can go slow ones. So after you have those two things down, you can move to wall climbing. Disclaimer, I'm not the best at this. So there's two ways. You can either do it like this or like this. I learn like this, and when I'm struggling, like I can't get this one, I start doing this and I can get it. So yeah. So either you can do it's the same motion for both. You wanna start by pushing into the wall. You wanna jump up and push and catch yourself with this hand. So like that. And what you can do is you can hit the wall and then push. Cause if you just if I do it too early, or if I do it too early, see I don't get that much leverage. But you wanna make sure you have you're pushing into the wall. And what a lot of videos do, like how I'm doing, they they show you really big pushes. Don't do that. Just do small pushes. And then do it with the other hand. So if I promise you, if you learn this, if you learn this step, it'll make everything so much easier. And then you can do the same. You can do the same thing with the other hand. So as I was doing before, left hand, right hand, left hand, right hand, left hand, right hand. So after you get with the, both hands, you want to hit the wall. And make your hands around from, you don't want to have it like this, you want to have them more like this. So it's like boom. And you catch. Catch. But then, you want to keep your hands in motion at all times. So if I do it with the, my hands out in motion, I don't really know to push. And if you fall, you're slipping off. Like that. Put, keep your hands at like this angle. And don't push off until you hit the wall. So it's like, and after that, just keep practicing and do small little pushes. You can either do little tiny ones or bigger ones like what most people do. And there's another tutorial on YouTube how to do this. There's like ski climbing or swim climbing. So you like do this and you would like push yourself up. I don't really know how to do it, so I'm not going to teach you it. But then now for wall climbing, wall running. This is a little more tricky, and there's one place that not many people practice it at. And I recommend it fully. It's over here. It's right on this wall. Because it's almost flat. So it's, it's in some aspects the same thing as wall climbing. You don't want to hit it until your hand 
touches the you don't want to hit into your hand touches the wall so it's like if you don't hit yourself off see I didn't hit myself I reckon I'm not that good with my left handed but you don't hit it You don't want to jump piss off until until you get to the part that you need to go at. So hit. So if I do it too early, see, it doesn't work. And if you're having, and after you from after that, you want to come down over here and do it at this wall. This wall's a lot more challenging. Only because it has more curves. Okay, I'm not I'm not even that good at wall running, but as I'm doing the mistakes I just told you not to do. <laughs> but yeah. And the easiest part I know how to wall climb. If you have those two mastered, you can come down here. up here you can go to tree stump any way that you want to i'm not gonna cut the recording because i'm recording on oculus so you can come up here now this is my favorite place to walk time and it's a good kind of a juke kind of not you see, you'll see a lot of people doing this and just push off. You're gonna wanna try to hit one of like the top ones. Like one of those small ones you're right there. But if you don't, it's fine. And I guess that's the end of the video, guys. I'll catch you in the next one if there is a next one on <laughs> my upload schedule. So bye.